lights, one to eight division. A referee in charge for this one. Some referee, would you please give a warm welcome? This is Tommy Winters. <laughs> Introducing first the boxing of the great corner, representing Ireland, Roman Love. <laughs> and in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Sunny Kerr. This is bout number three, light wet away, Sunny Care and Ronin Love. It's round number one. Nice couple of left hooks to start the contest from Sunny. Well, he's coming out strong and there's, there's, very, no, very there's no feeling well. out process in this bout. Um, first two, it was a, a cagey first round, but it looks like we're we're gonna have a a busy opener. Sonny Kerr from Byron Boxing Club in Aberdeen. Your neck of the woods. Yeah. I remember seeing Sonny five, six years ago, district, North District, school or youth championships. To see him now, he's obviously still still a youth. Actually, he would have been school. Uh, he must have been 11 years old. He's grown a bit since then. Yeah, that's like <laughs> me with Leo Charles. First time I seen Western District two years ago. Um, I wouldn't underestimate um, Ronan Love. I've seen... Um, try to move in there, throw some decent shots. Um, Sonny does seem a bit more relaxed. Yeah, I th I've got to admit, I'm a wee bit going into this blind with the, the Irish team. Don't know too much about the the team, apart from obviously Kleps and DeSantos. That's only because I beat them at table tennis. But <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I'll mention table tennis. But... Um, it's been a strong start from Sonny Kerr, a very strong start. He's someone who likes to use his feet and use the, the full space in the ring. I've seen him in some international competitions, really uses use his feet, draw punches on, and then he, he ca catches them with counters from, he likes to have his hands low coming up. It reminds me, it's almost Roy Jones style, the way he boxes. And I think Roy Jones is, uh, He's kind of idle as a boxer, I believe. But you can see the, you can see the resemblance in style, certainly. Keeping his hands, hands low, but then he brings them up out the this eye line. And it can be very successful so as long as you, yeah. <laughs> as long as you've got the reflexes to avoid the shots to come well, back at you, it can be successful. Don't underestimate um, Ronan Love. I've seen him throwing some some big shots. Yeah. He always landed. Um, the Ronan surname is Love. I was going to say no love lost for these two, but yeah, it looks like there was a wee sort of chest bump at the uh, end of that first round. What's going on here? Uh, but no, a very strong first round from from Sunny. Certainly must have won that that opening round. Again, we don't know the scores. It's not open scoring, so we're not privy to the information. So we'll, we'll find out when you find out from yep. Craig Stephen. So you're watching uh, JTV Live and Boxing Scotland's coverage of Scotland versus Ireland dual international. <laughs> I wasn't going to see England again. <laughs> uh, with me, Jimmy O'Neill from JTV Live and Ben Holm from Boxing Scotland we're in bout number three I'm going to round number two Sonny Kerr in the blue corner and Ronan Love in the red we've got a good crowd in tonight I mean from the camera angle we're actually kind of panning away from the, their crowd but in the other direction uh, we have a lot of floor seats and um, it's busy it's, it's busy yeah it's, so, um, um, they've done well the, the boxers are selling their 
their own tickets. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Alec Mullen, who was here earlier. Um, yeah, so Irvin Irvin Brown Brown double win or two. Um, I think he seemed to be more in ring number two, not the one we were covering. He did have one, uh, oh, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd need to look back at the sheet, but... So yeah. Nathan Lewis yeah. and Lewis Hockett boxing earlier. I'm sure there was one in ring two, wasn't there? Maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining. Ring one, I went off there. He's ah, told okay. to see. I remember you were in ring one. It's been a busy day. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's been long. Um, Sonny, you know, a bit cocky. He's edging his opponent on. Good left hook there from Sonny. Using that range you can see, yeah, he, st he didn't do it so much in the first round, but you can start to see him now <coughs> using his feet. He won't, he won't be shy and, and really using the full size and area of the ring. This is a youth light welterweight contest. First five bouts tonight will be youth and then the head guards will come off for, for the elite boxers. Although we do have one youth contest, bout number 11, Taylor Goff, um, late on in the cards. But after bout five, it will be all elite apart from the, the Taylor Goff contest. Nice right hand again from Sonny. <coughs> you can tell he's feeling good, he's feeling confident. Got him shield on the floor. Sonny needs to bite down in that gum shield. <coughs> Sonny was involved in a bit of a bizarre incident uh, internationally last year. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I, I, I think it was Lithuania. I, got, I might be wrong. He was, he was abroad. It could have been Serbia. And there was an incident between the two boxers. It was a home boxer he, he was facing. And then the, uh, the coach stormed the ring. The opposition coach stormed the ring, immediately getting his boxer disqualified. Uh, I don't know if you remember seeing the clip. We put the Come clip on, up. This is the first time hearing of this. I think it was in October, November sort of time. So it was, uh, it was a close contest, but <laughs> there was there was some sort of incident in the ring and the, the opposition coach decided to storm the ring to confront Sonny. But obviously if the if the coach enters the ring during the contest, the, he, the boxer will be disqualified, so. Wow, I need to look for that. If there's any edits of this, we'll find it and put it up so you can you can see it. Yeah. Um, great we ended into that, that second round there, I think. I still feel like uh, Ronan has got a bit more to show. Um, he's just finding it difficult. Sonny's very comfortable in that ring. You can see already he's, he's ready to go. For me, I feel like Ronan needs a, a big final round that's been a very confident and composed performance from Sonny over these first two rounds. I would be surprised if he loses two rounds coming into this final round. Yeah, I, I think so. 
they can all train from one point of course so he's got the interesting he, you know he does have a lead he's not decided to change what he's doing he's not keeping his hands up still fighting with that loose relaxed style which does leave him vulnerable to being caught with one but he's obviously confident in his own abilities I wonder if we will see those hands go a bit higher in the final few seconds to run in the side to, uh, to go for it a bit. Yeah. That right jab land, he was nice, he's ducking. He's very accurate with his, his job, Sonny is. Um, he's been targeting the body there for, for the first time of the, the contest. Great left foot there. So he's having a breathe of it. He, he does look like he could go on another few rounds. Um, he doesn't look tired to me. I mean, Ronan has caught him here and there. Um, we'll go back to Craig Stephen for the, the winner, baby. I think we're going to see Scotland take a 3 0 lead in this. Yeah. So pass to Craig Stephen, the official announcement in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Roland Luck. 